Hi there again! So in the previous video, we just finished our data science pipeline so that it ingests my model input table, it splits the data, trains the model, and evaluates that. Now we want to iterate on this model a little bit so that we can find a better combination of input features that yields a better result. And for that, we need to prepare things a little bit more. So let's get to it. Now, if you remember, when I ran the data science pipeline before, pipeline data science, since I haven't registered the regressor itself as a dataset in the catalog, everything is working, but the regressor is not being saved to disk. As you can see here, the regressor itself is a memory dataset, which means that it's being passed from one node to the other, but it's not really being serialized. Let's change that. For that, I'm coming back to my catalog and I'm going to add a new dataset that I'm going to call regressor. And this one is going to have a different type. So this is going to be a pickle, pickle dataset. So we're going to use the pickle library from the Python standard library to save this model to disk. Now I will also need to specify the file path. So this will be data and I'm going to use the 06 models directory here. So models regressor.pkl. Let's see what changes now. If I go to my terminal and I run my data science pipeline again, you see now the regressor is no longer a memory data set. But now, since it's a pickle data set, it got serialized here. Now, you might be wondering, OK, say that I change my input parameters and now I get a different model. How do I know if it's better or worse? And more, how do I go back or how do I retain the previous versions of the model? Well, this is a really good question. And the good news is that we have some extra parameters in the catalog that we can use to make that situation better. If I go here and add a version parameter set to true, now Kedro is going to keep track of every single time we run this pipeline and a new regressor is produced. However, be careful here. If I run this pipeline again, at the moment I'm going to see a very ugly error that says that it cannot save the version dataset regressor.pkl because a file with the same name already exists. It's explaining to me that this is likely because versioning was enabled on a dataset that was already saved previously. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove that old regressor, so my regressor PKL, and I'm going to run the pipeline again. Now hopefully there shouldn't be any problems. The different thing is that now regressor.pkl is no longer a file, but it's a directory. So you see here that there is a subdirectory with the date time on it, which means that if I run my pipeline once more, I'm going to get one more regressor, but in this case with its own directory, so if it's isolated from the rest. Okay, this is a very good start. Now I can iterate on the model and I can keep track of the different versions of it and hopefully go back to something that was working before. But now, how can I actually do that in a way that is scalable and easy to fit into my current Kedro code? We're going to see that in the next video.